Hello students. In this video, we will learn the topic lifelines of national economy standard 10th. Let's begin. The word lifeline. Before starting the topic, I wish to ask you a few questions. The first one, why are transportation and communication called lifelines of country? Transportation and communication are compared to veins and arteries of our body. Why? So let's look. Why we call lifelines of national economy. Lifeline means a support system. So why we call transportation and communication is a support system for us? Because they provide raw material to industry and support agriculture. They support trade. This is the basis of globalization. Transportation and communication is the backbone to tourism. This is very important in defense and it creates a national integration. Then, in this topic, we will discuss means of transportation and communication, means and modes of transportation, Efficient transportation and communication are prerequisite for fast development. So, the first subtopic is means of, means of transport. Land, we have railways, roadways, pipeline. Water, we have inland and overseas. Air, we have domestic and international. In domestic, we have public and private. So, first one is roadways. India has one of the largest road networks in the world near about 3.32 million kilometers. Roads are being constructed at very fast pace, but still density of the road is low. Roads has an edge over railways. This is the advantage of roadways. They can be built and maintained very easily. Like nowadays also we uh, see most of the time it can be maintained or it can be built very easily. Construction cost of road is much lower than railway line. They can be built at higher altitude at any place means anywhere we can build a road. Roads can traverse comparatively more dissected and unrelenting topography means everywhere we can build a road and we can use that road. Road transportation is economical in transportation of few persons and relatively smaller amount of goods over short distance. Extension of agriculture is possible only through road transport. It also provides door-to-door -door services. Thus, the cost of loading and unloading is much lower. Road transport is also used as a feeder to other modes of transport such as they provide a link between railway stations, airport, and seaport. Road transport has the merit of offering personal service too. Road system facilitates the transport of perishable goods across different areas. Now we have some problems of Indian roads. The road network is inadequate in India as compared to demand and volume of traffic. The condition of most of the roads are very poor. These become muddy during the rainy season. They are highly congested in cities. Most of the highways lack side amenities like telephone booths, emergency health services, police stations, etc. And they are very poor maintenance. Classification of roads. According to its capacity or significance, we have golden quadrilateral, we have super highways, we have national highways, we have state highways, we have district roads, and we have border roads or other road with village road. According to its material, we have kacha and pakka road. Pakka means metal, kacha means unmetal. So first one, golden quadrilateral super highways. Largest highway project in the India and fifth in the world. First phase of NHDP 
launched in 2001 by Atal Bihari Bajpayee under the NDA and it was completed in January 2012 this is the map of golden quadrilateral so golden quadrilateral project linking four metropolitan cities delhi kolkata chennai mumbai by six lane super highways with the same we have the north south corridor linking shri kanyakumari in tamil nadu east west corridor connecting silchar is in assam and porbandar is in gujarat are part of this means north south corridor and east west corridor objective of this to reduce the time and distance between mega cities of india mega cities means four metro cities delhi mumbai chennai and kolkata these roads are maintained by nhai national highway authority of india the national highway link the extreme part of the country primary roads and led and maintained by cpwd the historical sher shah suri marg is called national highway number 1 national highway number 7 is the longest in traverse 2369 km between varanasi and kanyakumari national highway number 8 between delhi and mumbai and national highway number 15 between delhi and rajasthan state highways road linking a state capital with different district headquarters roads are constructed and maintained by spwd district roads these roads connect the district headquarter with other places of the district these roads are maintained by zilla parishad other roads so first one is rural these roads link rural areas and villages with town we have some scheme to construct roads in rural areas and one of them is pradhan mantri gramin sadak yojana under this scheme special provisions are made so that every village in the country is linked to a major town by an all season motorable road next one is border road border road organization it's a government of india undertaking so undertaking construct and maintain the road in the bordering areas the organization means border road organization was established in 1960 for strategic importance of north and north eastern border areas these roads have improved accessibility in areas of difficult terrain and have helped in economic development now difference between metal roads and unmetal roads metal roads are also known as pakka or motorable all weather roads unmetal roads are also known as kachcha non motorable roads made of cement concrete or bitumen of coal thus all weather roads these are made by unmetal roads are made by sand brick stone they are used means metal roads are used for heavy vehicles and unmetal ro roads can use for light vehicles now we have some problems with road network in advocate keeping in view the volume of traffic and passengers the road network is in advocate means we have very few national highways poor material about half of the roads are unmetered and this limits their uses during the rainy season congestion the roads are highly congested in cities and most of the bridges and culverts are old and very narrow lack of roadside amenities this is the biggest issue for us and construction of bridges 